Well, I thought it was about time I did an update. Uh, I haven't uh, really had a whole lot of opportunity <clears throat> to use uh, the old grill because uh, the weather's just not been uh, nice enough for me to take it out. And uh, it's just a little too big and fast to really move or to use in a house uh, comfortably. I, I guess if I get a little bit more familiar, but... Um, uh, the way my living room's laid out, I got a coffee table in between uh, the two couches and the lounger, and my hall um, is uh, just well, it's it's as wide as most halls, but uh, still not uh, not comfortable enough running it down the hall. Uh, uh, the optical avoidance works beautifully, but uh, still. Anyways, um, the reason why I figured it'd be appropriate to do an update is. Uh, they pushed through an update. Uh, we're now up to version 1.50, and I'm not sure exactly what date it came out, but um, what the update uh, uh, did for us, it uh, optimizes network configuration process, which uh, I had a miserable time um, getting this thing into the, um, let's see, what is it called? Uh, um, uh, the uh, well, okay, the Wi-Fi mode. Uh, I I normally run it in the AP mode uh, because uh, well, uh, I prefer not to have uh, something online all the time, and uh, uh, the AP mode is just talking to my burner phone. So um, uh, the update, I guess, is supposed to make the. Uh, flipping back between uh, AP and Wi-Fi easier. It also added advanced modes uh, supporting cross-step, side-step. They say bounce functions. Uh, there's a lot more in the... Um, here, let's, uh, let's get in here. I'm going to have to turn it down. It does seem to take a little bit longer to boot. Uh, before um, booting was... Usually within about, uh, maybe, oh, okay, well, no, let's see how long it takes for it to get up on its feet. Um, it uh, wouldn't take much more than about uh, 20, maybe 25 seconds that it was up on its feet. Uh, I kind of thought it uh, took a little bit longer after the boot. And I'm noticing my, um, my uh, LiDAR motors. Oh, okay, I guess it was proximity to the floor. Uh, so anyhow, okay, let's get into functions. Um, oh, why is it not connected? It's supposed to have... Um, uh, oh, I see why, because I had the phone on and... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the robot off. So, okay, anyways, uh, she, log she booted up uh, and logged in fairly fast. So now the new... Uh, uh, features in action mode are roll over, stretch, shake hand, cheer, bounce, jump forward, greet, roll around, dance one, dance two. I'm not sure if those were all the same because like an idiot I didn't uh, bother to uh, note, but um, I think the second dance is me. Now in the mode mode, I've got dampening, stand up, sit down, lie down, lock on, pose, Keep walking, run, keep running, climb stairs, downstairs, leash. Leash is uh, probably one of the more uh, interesting updates uh, because uh, I don't think anybody was really expecting this. And I believe it's primarily for the uh, customers that bought the Air version, which um, did not come with the small follow along remote, what the um, uh, leash function does is, as the name uh, kind of implies, uh, it, uh, uh, it, if you put a, 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 a leash through there, uh, will basically act like uh, um, a dog on a leash. You tug on the leash and it'll start following you. I'm not going to try that in the house again. I want to have it out in the driveway where I've got plenty of room uh, if this thing decides to uh, uh, just take off on me. But that's a new feature that I'm sure 
the air customers are going to just absolutely be thrilled about because now it gives the robot a little bit more um, of an appearance that it's an autonomous uh, robot, which we all know it's not unless you have it online and you're using Bin Bin, which, um, uh, oh, uh, why did the speaker make a pop there? Uh, and, um, whoa, 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 what is it doing? What is it doing? Um, yeah, let's put you down. I, that, that, uh, <laughs> that didn't make me, well, that's interesting. It's kind of doing some, motors yeah, yeah. Okay, hopefully uh, this uh, update was thoroughly tested before they pushed it out. Um, anyhow, let's get back to what the uh, uh, other updates were we have added microphone functionality. So I think this is moving closer to where we'll be able to use voice commands like in the Chinese language but in English without having to be online because the way it presently is for um, uh, non-Chinese speakers is you have to talk to it through your phone while you're online and your commands go from your phone through the robot through your Wi-Fi router to China, uh, get converted, and the commands come back to the world. It, it's, just, it's just such a, 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 a roundabout approach. It's, it's virtually worthless, you know, because you give the command and it takes seconds before the robot responds. And then when it does, the voice is just horrible. So I'm hoping this is the first step for us to be able to just speak directly to the robot um, and have voice uh, uh, control. All right. Next is added more configurations for uh, crosshair uh, radical, which um, um, they're talking about here. And again, I'm not going to I'm not going to push that until again I have a little bit more room in front of me. Uh, let's see what else uh, we have. Uh, uh, dashboard. And Bluetooth remote control data relay. Um, I wonder if that's just the robot status or if it's going to function since it does have a speaker as maybe a Wi Fi speaker. Who knows? Probably a Bluetooth speaker. I don't know. Uh, gallery uh, now supports mobile selections for deletion. So I guess you can do a bulk delete of photos in the album. Um, I don't know how clumsy it was before because I uh, hadn't uh, taken any uh, photos with the robot. Uh, let's see, added tutorial videos for advanced mode and leash uh, gate. Um, fixed some errors causing abnormal display. Fixed some page uh, copay display errors. I'm sorry, my printout's not as clear, and I got this particular, uh, um, this page from a, uh, a, a great uh, website um, uh, called uh, Discord and Robo, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry for walking in front. The Roboverse on Discord.com. Uh, if you can, uh, get in there and uh, see if they'll uh, uh, allow you to log in. It is one of the most amazing uh, uh, websites for owners of um, the GoTo. There's hackers in there doing reverse engineering. Uh, there's uh, great ideas, one of which was my little... Uh, here we go. Still, I'm still adjusting these, so um, there we go. Uh, what's nice about this is you can uh, uh, you can order this, and it comes with uh, ten placards um, in training, uh, um, emotional 
support. Uh, I, I use the do not pet. Hold on, let me stop this and go get the rest of them. And let me put this back down. Okay. Uh, I put on do not pet because I don't want somebody to just run up and uh, get around the robot, possibly hurt it or get hurt. Um, there's emotional support, service dog in training, service dog in training. And um, well, I'm having a senior moment. I think this was, I think it was under 40 bucks. Uh, it gives you a nice handle front and back to kind of pick it up with. Um, uh, and, and I got to admit, it just looks cool. <laughs> Comes in two two colors, the, the brown and black, and I got it off Amazon. Uh, so uh, I, I think if you just type in um, dog, uh, uh, oh gosh, what do they call it? I guess uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember what I called it. I'll, I'll look when I get out of here. Anyways. Um, I also got some uh, silicon feet for um, outdoors so that I don't track stuff in the house, but also so that they wear down before the tread uh, or the pads on the robot wear down. Uh, these are 19 bucks I got over at uh, Petco. Um, I bought the medium and they seem to fit uh, oops, uh, just fine. Uh, let's see what's Stand you up. There we go. Uh, let's see what uh, some of these. Um, uh, okay, dampening. Let's see, sit down. All right, yeah, we already already know about uh, that. Uh, let's get you up here and zoom you back a little bit. Uh, I don't know. What is the pose? Uh, it didn't do anything. And I don't want to hit anything else. Let's see. Shake hands. I was kind of thinking about that. There we go. What is the stretch? All right. Uh, let's back you up a little bit. Um, don't want to do the rollover because. Uh, I don't know how much space it's going to take. I think the cheer is going to be similar to the uh, to the um, waving. Let's see. I get so nervous when, when that does that. I think it's going to fall back over. Um, and then you got to the pounce and the jump forward, which are the pounce. I'm sure is crouched down and it jumps and the. Jump forward is as it's standing. We're going to do that outside. We're not going to do that in there. I mean, in here. Uh, I don't know what greet is or roll around. I'm just intimidated by, again, how fast this thing moves. Ooh. Yeah, uh, that uh, is not too good for the furniture. Uh, yep, took a nice chunk of wood out of there. So, um, Obstacle avoidance works great forward, is horrible in, in, in reverse. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with the uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with the update and I can't wait to go out and uh, uh, check out uh, these, uh, these new features. So sorry for boring you with a clumsy video, but uh, uh, again, I hope it helps uh, you make the decision um, as to whether you're going to buy one of these, because I just uh, I just absolutely love it. And now that I know about the um, uh, Discord.com, the Roboverse website, it makes it even better. So, you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the uh, next video. Bye.